Everyone loves a great plot twist, but everyone also loves to hate a poorly executed one. Plot twists are a great way to make your story more effective and engaging and memorable. And especially if you're writing in the thriller or suspense genre, then your story is likely going to have one. The key with plot twists is to ensure you are pulling it off effectively or it can actually have the opposite effect and make the reader disengage with your story. So today I'm going to cover the five most common plot twists in fiction, as well as why they're used so frequently and some options for how to approach the twist differently if you are hoping to avoid them. Now, one note here is I am not saying any of these plot twists are off limits. In fact, you are going to see them everywhere, likely in many best-selling novels, as well as in TV shows and movies. So if your story hinges on one of these twists, it's not game over. You don't have to scrap the whole thing. That is not what I'm suggesting. However, I just want to get the wheels turning and make sure that you consider carefully how you approach them. If you're working on a novel, I recommend subscribing to my channel. Every single week, I post a new video either with writing tips like this one or advice about how to go about getting published, and I would love to have you around. So let's dive in to the first overdone plot twist. That is the discovery of long lost family. This is when some characters in your story find out, typically toward the middle or end of the story, that they are actually related. Maybe they are half-sisters or half-brothers or long-lost cousins somehow. And the reason that this plot twist is used so frequently is that it immediately amplifies the emotional stakes of the story. Because now you have transformed the characters' relationships and they are now bonded and much closer than they ever realized. This can be especially interesting if you have two characters who are enemies or a protagonist and antagonist find out that they are related because now they have to rethink their entire relationship. However, this plot twist can be a bit convoluted to execute as sometimes it is not totally convincing either how the characters are actually related or how they find out that they are related. So some of the logistics of this plot twist can be a bit difficult to execute and make sure that your reader is really on board with it. So what you can do instead is ask yourself if it is actually necessary to have these characters be related or if you are potentially leaning on this plot twist just to make it more emotional and more dramatic when it isn't actually necessary to the story. If you determine that it is necessary, then just make sure that the characters' backstories are believable enough so that it does make sense that they would ultimately be related and the reader doesn't have to jump through so many hoops to see how this all played out. You ultimately want this revelation to make sense and be logical. The next plot twist is when the perfect character actually ends up being not so perfect. This is when a character that we have seen as very good and positive throughout the story, someone that we have come to invest in, someone who's likable, actually ends up being responsible for some bad things or ends up being the antagonist. The reason this plot twist is used so frequently is because it is unexpected. You have led the reader to believe that this character can do no wrong and is great and then suddenly reveal that they are actually bad. It isn't someone that we would expect or anticipate to be capable of these things, so this twist does have that shock value. But because this twist is so overdone and has been used in many different contexts, you run the risk at this point of having the reader suspect any character that is coming across as too perfect. So whenever there's a character who just seems like they can do no wrong, especially if you are writing a thriller and we're looking for the murderer, for example, that person might end up being a red flag to the reader because we know of this twist and we know that sometimes the perfect person actually ends up being the killer or being the antagonist. So what I recommend doing here instead of this twist is making all of your characters complex, layered, and flawed. All of your characters should have good sides and bad sides so that almost everyone is a suspect. No one character is too perfect. No character is too imperfect. This is going to really enrich your story. It's going to allow you to have more complex characterizations and the reader's ultimately going to connect with those characters more because ultimately 
That's how real life is. No one is perfect. If you're looking for some more tips on crafting authentic feeling characters, I have another video that goes through some common mistakes I see when writing characters, so I recommend checking that out. The next overdone plot twist is having a misleading protagonist. This is when the protagonist who we have been following throughout the story ends up being someone who we did not expect them to be at all. This could be, for example, if they have a mental condition that we were previously unaware of that completely changes their entire worldview and perspective. Or this could be in a thriller where the protagonist ends up being the killer, but they had not presented themselves as the killer at all throughout the story. Another term used for first person novels is an unreliable narrator. So you've probably heard of that phrase before. The reason why this plot twist is overdone and has been used so frequently is because it honestly can be one of the biggest, most shocking twists if it is pulled off effectively. However, it is also the most risky plot twist because if it is not executed well, then you run the risk of the reader being totally upset with how the story has played out. This is the type of plot twist that you hear about readers just closing the book and throwing it down because they are so frustrated with it. So that's why I really, really recommend proceeding with caution if you have a misleading protagonist in your story. If you want to consider a totally different approach, I would really encourage you to ask yourself what would happen if the protagonist revealed their true selves from the beginning of the story? How would that transform it? What would you gain? Would you lose anything or not? Could that actually make for a more interesting story? For example, if you have a reveal in the story that the protagonist is the murderer that we have been searching for throughout the novel, what would happen if we knew from the beginning that the protagonist was the murderer? How would that change and potentially enrich the story? There's a lot to think through with this one, but I encourage you to consider all the options again because this is potentially the riskiest plot twist. It definitely has the biggest payoff, but you also have the most to lose. The next plot twist I wanna go through is when what we saw in the story never actually happened. This is when all the scenes in the novel or a large portion of the scenes in the novel are actually some kind of delusion or a dream by one of the characters. This is what we're describing with the phrase, it was all a dream. The reason this plot twist is popular is because compared to some other plot twists that I've gone through, it's honestly easier to execute. It pretty much adds on a layer to the narrative and you're able to deliver a big shock without really changing much of the story. However, because of that, it is often seen by the reader as a kind of cheap trick and they are going to potentially feel manipulated whenever it is revealed that none of what they read actually happened. You really run the risk here of letting the reader down and feeling like all the time and effort and attention they gave the story was all for nothing. Think about all of the criticism that went out whenever the ending of the series Lost aired. People were not happy with that. So I recommend considering some other options if you are currently working on a story with this plot twist. You could take the twist out entirely and think about what would happen if everything in the story actually did happen in the character's world. However, if the dream or delusion element is critical to your vision of the story, then I recommend revealing it much earlier in the story, maybe in the first third to the first half, rather than saving it for the end. The reader is more likely to be okay and on board with this revelation if it happens earlier before they've pretty much finished the entire novel. That also gives you more room to explore the ramifications of what happens when it's revealed that everything has been a delusion or a dream. You really have a lot more to play with in the later section of the story. And the last overdone plot twist is when someone returns from the dead. This is when a character who we thought was dead and gone for the rest of the story reemerges at a pivotal moment, either to save the day or create some kind of chaos. The reason this plot twist is used so frequently is because it combines a shock value element with a familiarity that we already have with that character. So you're able to surprise the reader without introducing a totally new element out of left field, which is always good. However, similar to what I said with the character who is too perfect, because this has become such a common plot twist, 
Anytime a character dies in a story, particularly if you are writing in suspense or the thriller genre, the reader is likely going to keep one ear up and is going to think, hmm, maybe that character isn't dead and is going to come back because we've come to expect this type of twist. So one option for another approach you can take is rather than convincing the reader definitively that this character is dead or trying to convince us that this character is dead, just be upfront with the reader that this character might still be alive because that will actually add a layer of intrigue and suspense to the rest of the story because we will continue to wonder if that character is going to come back because you left the door open rather than immediately telling us that they're dead. We're going to wonder if they will return or not rather than presume from the beginning that something was fishy when you told us that that character was dead. That way the reader will wonder about that character and how they are going to potentially re-emerge in the story without feeling like you already gave it away when you killed that character off. By leaving it more open-ended, the reader isn't going to feel like they predicted the plot twist when you killed the character off. Instead, it is going to feel like we are on board with you as the author as the plot develops because you have left it vague as to whether the character is still alive or not. I hope these tips help you craft stronger and more effective and more shocking plot twists in your story. Let me know in the comments if your story incorporates a plot twist and if you so desired, you can tell me what that plot twist is. I would be really excited to hear a little bit more about what you're working on. But I totally understand if you wanna keep it a secret. If you're looking for some more tips on how to craft a strong plot, I recommend checking out my video on the biggest plot mistakes. I go through some tactical advice for things to watch out for in your manuscript. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me know I am bringing you useful and helpful tips and helps me grow this community. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.